Hey everyone, welcome to another Goodie Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we have the Kobo Arc 10 HD. This is the first large screen tablet that Kobo has ever released, so we're pretty excited about uh, checking it out. As you can see, dual speakers at the top, and that you can see the design on the back is actually fairly cool. Most tablets, you know, have, just have like a flat back, and Kobo actually has. A, funky design, lots of angular grooves, uh, fairly interesting. It's 10 inches, the resolution's 2560 by 1600, it has a quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Cameras on the front, you have the micro USB, micro HDMI, 3.5 mil headphone jack, and microphone on the left side. And on the top right corner, you have the power button, standby button, and the volume up and down. Nothing much to look at from the front, but as you saw on the back view, it is quite unique. And I love the asymmetrical design of their chiseled backing. Okay, let's take a look at the software. So this is the main home screen here. Very much akin to Kobo's other tablets. You have obviously widgets you're able to put here. You can drag and drop apps here. So... These are just the stock ones, but you can put whatever you want. A live wallpapers, but this is just a static one, more bookish. You can see a picture of myself there. You can actually set this tablet up to have multiple accounts. So I just have a groovy photo of myself. You have the Kobo store and your launch tab apps here. Scrolling to the side, I like this screen. This is um, magazines, kids' books, ebooks that you have purchased as well as you see some things from Pocket here. Recommended reads, new releases. You can see because I purchased a, a book from Cassandra Clare that they actually have some interviews and stuff by her here. Just take a look at the new releases here. I like the way that Kobo has done this because instead of just going to the store and navigating a myriad of submenus, you can just check it out here. And so you can just click on a book and get the full details here, book description, star ratings, similar books, fairly intuitive. And you can just buy things basically in one click. Uh, as you see here, this is Kobo's new magazine system. And we have a few magazines here. So Kobo's magazine system is now online. When we initially reviewed the other Kobo tablets, it wasn't, but it is now. You can pinch and zoom. Let's zoom in on that chocolate to really get a good sense of the resolution. Look at the oh, texture. Oh. oh, man, look at those crumbs. Look at that texture. Look at the crumbs. Look okay, at the chocolate. We're going to pause the video and we're going to go out and get some of these chocolates. Yeah. We'll be right back, we promise. Nutty and nice. Yeah, that's delicious. So you can get preview panes here so you can immediately jump to other articles. You could read magazines both in landscape and portrait mode. You can see the full page spread here. You can subscribe to a yearly subscription or you can buy them by the issue. Those are the only two options. So magazines, fairly solid. Okay. So these are your collections here. And you can see that you have books, want to read, so your wish list for, uh, things would appear there. If you purchase any magazines, it'll appear under this tab. Articles from Pocket, so you can kind of click here. And I have Pocket on my iPhone, and what I did was just, you know, uh, do read it later and it has full instructions if you don't know how to use pocket but they're basically articles going to our main website here and you could see that it's fairly ebook-esque so you sort of stripped away all the graphics on our website and just have the you know the article itself but you can go to the pure web experience uh, which which is good about pocket basically is Kobo and pocket made a good relationship so you could actually read these like offline and stuff like that fairly cool so you have your pocket shelves here 
Um, here's just a, an indication on what you can do with your shelves. So you can embed YouTube videos and just play them instantly. Recipes, ebooks, things that you want to buy, getting started guide. Kobo teaches you how to make your own shelves, but it is pretty easy. If you want to add like anything like we did with like web browsers or YouTube videos, you have to use the stock browser. And then there's like a little tab here. You click on that and then you could make a new collection. Establish, uh, you know, you can make it basically as many connect, uh, collections as you want. So it's good as a family type of device because you can easily say, okay, you know, this collection is for little Johnny, this collection's for my wife, this collection's for me, and then put content uh, in there. So this is a tablet, and we're going to look at a myriad of subjects right now. So let's take a look at some stuff. So you see here, we are going to go through newspapers, comics, Netflix, and uh, an ebook. So we're going to start with an ebook because, well, we are a goody reader, and that's what we do. So we're going to crack open this book here. So you see we're on the full page here, so we can have numerous amount of options. On the bottom right corner, you can change the font, different styles, publisher defaults, the way it's meant to be read, or you can choose, choose your own custom. You can do two-page spread. Doesn't look too good, so we'll leave in the... Kind of full page. Oh. You have brightness settings, so you can do themes, classic, and so forth. Long pressing will allow you to highlight a word. Dictionary, you can download a dictionary. It's actually fairly quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once that's done, it will give you a definition. You can do full definition, Google, Wikipedia. You can make different colored notes and highlights. You can box large amounts of text, share to Facebook, make a note. Keyboard's very default Androidy, but you can save um, you can save different Android keyboards to this device. And you can make bookmarks in the corner. And page turning is not really a factor for how fast it is or not because it's a tablet. It's going to do it very quickly. So Kobo is really uh, abolished. Um all the award systems on their tablets so you're not going to have like your rewards and achievements anymore and they scrapped Cobalt Pulse but they integrated some of those features into Beyond the Book and as you can see here that there is some details here about the author how many people are currently reading it how many people have actually wrote, written notes on the book how many people have actually finished the book and you got some social media options here so you could click on say like runes what is a rune and it'll give you some details here I kind of dig this it, it's uh, much akin to Amazon x-ray but it's with their own uh, Kobo flavor and the more people that add content to it the more things that will eventually show up here it does exactly what it says it goes beyond the book okay so we've looked at uh, the basic ebook experience let's take a look at uh, say like a comic book we're gonna click on Marvel and this is the Marvel comic in uh, uh, landscape. And if you double tap, you can go into a full page spread via uh, um, panel view here, guided view. So this app, it doesn't come with the Kobo. We installed this from Google Play. Yes. So you can see the resolution on this tablet very crisp and very clear all the words are nice and rounded off you're not getting any of that blurriness or pixelation you can almost tell the individual strokes of uh, the animation itself it's very nice yeah I mean this is a different type oh. of comic but you can see that the resolution shines and I much prefer large screen tablets for my magazines, my newspapers, my comics, because it gives you that. more of a surface area. Totally. Look how beautiful that looks. Full screen. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. So let's take a look at the newspaper experience. 
we're going to open up our favorite newspaper reading app, Press Reader, and we have the Vancouver Sun on here. Now you can tell this is very difficult to read, so you can do a couple things to change that. You can pinch and zoom, which is very fast. And note that this is the full version of the actual newspaper you'd get from the newsstand. Um, ads and all, so you can see here your destination awaits and all that. So you can pinch and zoom to find that sweet spot, or if you look for any of these blue highlighted titles, you can actually click on those. Breaks it down into almost like an ebook. And you have some options with this. You can do support or oppose, share, copy, listen, or read back to you. Or you can go back to the page view by clicking the page view right there. And this will actually go article to article as you slide. And um, it's kind of, they're really tight, so the touch point is actually quite tiny. But uh, you do have some text change options, so you can make it bigger and everything mostly changes live. And you have a couple font options as well. For example, Times New Roman. Yeah, th this is one of the benefits of going digital with newspapers. I know a lot of uh, elderly people that need to invest in those m magnifying glasses that have like little lights attached to it just to read their paper. Whereas if you get a tablet and the text is too small, you can just make it larger, you know? And you could actually have the newspaper get read aloud to you. Right. Just not English, but if you're, say, um, you know, if you're mother's Chinese and only speaks Chinese, you can actually have an English paper read to her in Chinese, and which if, is very cool. And if you swipe left to right, you actually dodge all the ads, pictures, and just fillers. You just get article, article, article. So it's a really good system. Okay, let's continue the trend and let's look at some more stuff. We're now going to look at the audio video experience using Netflix. It's got 30 seconds to return my fairies. Oh, you stick a quarter under my pillow. Why are you doing this? Maybe I want what you have. To be believed in. Maybe I'm... The video quality really good. Audio quality fairly lackluster. I found that too. The screen and the resolution really brought out the best in that CG animated movie, but... You even saw Michael trying to tilt it towards the mic. And at first we're like, oh, is the volume all the way up? It was maxed out. And the speakers are right at the um, the top on the either side. So I was a little bit uh, disappointed. Yeah, you're not going to get like a room filling audio experience with this. But it does have a headphone jack. And it is, you know, dual, speak dual speakers. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. if you have it cradled on your lap and maybe you're listening to... Uh, music, it'll be probably a little bit louder than, say, uh, a Netflix video, which due to compression, you're probably not going to get super rich sound anyways. But, you know, all in all, this tablet's fairly solid. It's the first 10-inch tablet Kobo's ever released. And you can see their store looks fine, uh, ebooks look fine. I would probably recommend this tablet to people that need a larger screen and 7 inches don't cut it. Personally, I, I'm not too much of a fan at all about 7-inch tablets. I use my iPad, I use my uh, Galaxy Note uh, tablet, and I'm, I'm a huge fan because it just puts more on the screen. And if you can fit more on the screen, then you're churning pages less, you're scrolling less, uh, there's less page churns and stuff to be made. Uh, you've heard our thoughts, let's hear yours. Comment on this video and uh, let us know your thoughts. If you're watching this video on another website, it's youtube.com slash goodyreader. For all the latest news, previews, interviews, and industry-wide coverage, you can check out our main website at goodyreader.com. And if you're a fan of Android apps, well, you're going to like our Goody Reader app store, apps.goodyreader.com. And for a review of the Kobo Arc 10 HD, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.